We got a Wall Street Journal uh, report I want to I want to refer to here. It was published earlier this week, detailing how unprepared, in their view, America is for an era of quote great power conflict with the likes of China and Russia. Here are here's a little bit of their analysis here. Quote: Decades of ever bigger military budgets, including a seven percent boost in spending this year, have improved the lethality of China's air force, missiles, and submarines, and better trained. A better training has created a more modern force from what was once a military of rural recruits. China is developing weapons and other capabilities to destroy an opponent's satellites, the Pentagon says, and its cyber hacking presents a threat to infrastructure. Further, uh, a similar report from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute published findings around countries who are leaders in advanced technologies. 44 categories measured of those 44 <laughs> categories, the United States led in seven China led in the balance. I have that graph. I'd ask you now consent to enter into the record. Objection. Uh, China's research, the, the, the study said, quote, China's research strengths at the intersection of photonic sensors, quantum communication, advanced optical communications, in addition to post-quantum cryptography, cryptography, could mean that intelligence communities, particularly the five eyes, could lose important capabilities and suffer from diminished situational awareness. China leads globally in photonic sensors, quantum communi communications, advanced optical communications, and post-quantum crypt cryptography. It further states, taken together, these observations increase the risk of Chinese communications going dark to the efforts of Western intelligence services. This reduces the capacity to plan for contingencies in the event of hostilities and tensions, end quote. Let me ask you, Panel, do you agree or disagree with those statements? And what is your agency or agencies, what are you doing to build, catch up, or stay ahead of China considering those comments? Congressman, if I might begin, uh, I would agree that China has shrunk the gap in terms of where they were previously to where they are today. What is the National Security Agency doing? Uh, several things. First of all, we play to our competitive advantages. We make code and break code better than anyone in the world. The second piece is that we look at partnerships. You mentioned the Five Eyes, but it's a broader set of partners that we have to bring in, academic partners, engage with industry, engage with allies. This is what gives us strength that China will never have. And the last piece is the close association that we have as a combat support agency with the Department of Defense to identify vulnerabilities, mitigate them, and then ensure that we can advance from them. Congressman, the Defense Intelligence Agency has recently reorganized with a China mission group that is specifically focused uh, on this threat. Um, we're continuing to engage our Five Eyes partners and other partners uh, in the region on where we can where we can work together to uh, to get after this threat um, in, a, in a collective way. And, and we will be expanding our footprint into the Indo-Pacific here very, very soon. Excellent. Thank you. Any further comments? Sure. Sure. Just, uh, I mean, we've done, made the same kind of uh, important organizational changes because I think the Two challenges that you just talked about, Congressman, are going to be central to our futures in intelligence service, meaning China and competition with the PRC, and then the revolution in technology, which is going to be the main arena for that competition. So what we've done is stepped up considerably our efforts to collect on all the areas that you described, stepped up our efforts working with partners in the U.S. government, but also foreign partners as well, to slow down PRC's efforts to try to you know, gain an advantage in those areas. And then just to underscore what General Nakasone said, what's crucial to all this is working with partners, both in the private sector as well as foreign partners as well. Excellent. Let me flag one more issue for your attention. Uh, this is also a um, Wall Street Journal report. A remote corner of Taiwan confronts wartime scenario. That's the headline, Life with No Internet. And the, and the gist of this is there's, a, there's an island um, um, that had their internet cut off effectively. And, and, and this is typically a precursor uh, for um, kinetic action. And the question I have is, with regard to Taiwan, do you think we have adequate redundancies to be able to address that threat should that situation arise? I think I'll just say generally, this is an issue that we're worrying about across uh, all of partners, allies, et cetera, is to ensure that we have a way to help them. And I think we can... Um, yeah, further discuss details. So that's been the case in Ukraine where obviously that was exactly. uh, diminished their capability for communications and so on, operational control. And that's why I asked the, the, the question because I obviously have some concerns about addressing that. Do we have the adequate resources in place to, to mitigate that threat? Um, thank you. I yield back. Mr. Crow. 